In this video, we're going to look at individual angles. We're going to name them, and then we are going to describe the size of some of them. Angles are made up of two rays, and the rays are going to meet at a common endpoint. The common endpoint is called the vertex of the angle, and the individual so, uh, rays are called the sides of the angle. So there are two sides. Since these are rays, we put letters to identify them. Ray AC, ray AB. We want to name this angle right here. We call it angle A. Or we could call this angle CAB. We could call it angle BAC. We could not call it angle ACB. The vertex must be in the middle. That's very important. Sometimes I'll put a number inside and we'll call this angle 1. Other people will put inside letters of the Greek alphabet, for example, and they'll call this angle beta. I tend to use the idea of a number because it gets it confused sometimes. If there happen to be two angles that are together with the same vertex, we need to be very careful how we name these. You cannot name this as angle C because we don't know whether the angle C is this angle right in here, this one right in here, or the entire thing. So in this case, we would need to use a three-letter method of naming this angle. If we want the one right here, we would call it angle A, C, B. If we want the one right in here, we would call it angle B, C, D. If we wanted the big one, we would call it angle A, C, D. Now, the angles are measured in degrees, and the number of degrees tells you the size of the opening the rotation of that. Let's look at some particular names for angles. So the rotation of one ray onto the other. If we wanted to rotate AB on top of ray AC, that rotation tells you how big it is in degrees. And we name different angles. Acute angles are angles that are greater than zero but are less than 90 degrees. Right angles are ones that are angles that are equal to 90 degrees, or measures equal to 90. Straight angles are ones that are 180 degrees. Their measure is equal to 180. Obtuse angles are angles that are greater than 90 and are less than 180. So an obtuse angle might look like this. A straight angle would look like this. A right angle would look like this. An acute angle would be like the one we have right here. In right angles, we actually put a little symbol in there to indicate right angles. It's a little square. The last one's called a reflex angle, and that's the angle that is greater than 180 degrees. And that would be one that was opening like this, for example. Started out here at A with ray CA and opened around to here to ray CD. That would be called a reflex angle. Hope this helps you with the kinds of angles, their measures, and the, uh, what an angle is and naming them. And as always, have a very happy day.